Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dice Age. I'm your host, Justin Hayward. With me today are the three players of Ashley, Troy, and Shazan. This is episode 10. As we prepare for this episode, we're going to start it off as we do every week with a quick recap. Uh, remember to check us out on our link tree as well as our social platforms, including YouTube and Instagram, as well as follow us on TikTok and wherever your favorite podcast channels are. On that note, we're going to go ahead and start the episode with that quick recap. Mm-hmm. Last time on uh, Noise Age, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Um, the party members had managed to uh, make their way back to the camp um, after completing their second mission of heading off and building three consecutive bridges crossing the uh, first island to the second island. Um, upon the completion, uh, they found themselves at a new ca- at, back at their camp and they found a uh, second camp was set up right next to the first. And that is where we're going to be starting tonight's episode of Dice Age. So, as you guys make your way back onto the skiff, um, mm-hmm. you guys see a second set of tents next to your guys' set. Um, while your guys' set of tents are sort of this red maroon color, these are sort of a blue tent. As you see two separate ships uh, sort of piling in a uh, different uh, variety of supplies, as it seems a rival company has arrived. Um, as you guys sort of make your way back, you notice that unlike before where everything was sort of relaxed most of the camp members seem to be on guard Mm. as you see a bunch of patrolmen who seem to be sort of just relaxing inside of the tent maneuvering through the tent looking for anyone who shouldn't be here Um, as you guys sort of make your way into the skiff they sort of stop you and go oh it's you three come on in Uh, boss wants to see you boss yes the, you know, the leader of, that you've been working for, you know. Yeah, I thought you said this was a rival company. No, 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 this is for yours. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So these cool. are like your guards. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so as you boss. guys... Boss. <laughs> oh, that boss. Yeah, boss. Your boss? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, as you guys sort of do, uh, you see Grover is sort of sitting there pacing back and forth, and he seems stressed. You three have made it back, I very happy with that news. Uh, while you're away, it seems word has spread that we have managed to fortify ourselves here within this plane, and a rival troop has arrived. I am... And you seem to smash the table in half. <laughs> I'm very pleased to see them, as I love competition. She starts stomping you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a greedy man at all. I feel as though um, you see that somebody walks in, Mm -hmm. sees it. He's like holding up his dinner tray to like give to Grover. Mm -hmm. Drops the plate, walks out. (laughs) Crashes against the ground. Yeah. Um, Anyways. Uh (sighs) It seems that a company known as the Continental Trading Company the CTC. <laughs> uh. And you guys work for the Lucky Ladies Mining Company. Yep. L-O-N-C. Alpharius knows none of this. <laughs> um, Alpharius, do a... Uh, his, uh, uh, memory roll for me. Yeah, history check. 12 plus something. Or minus something, probably. I think what? Yeah, that's intelligence. Oh, definitely a minus one. I got an 11. Yeah, so even with an 11, you do remember uh, some scribbles on a piece of paper uh, that you received that was like a similar job offer uh, for this company a while back. Mm-hmm. Um... You know that, unlike the Dwarvish company that you were hired onto, this is a human company. 
um, and you don't really remember the guy, the leader's name who would be leading the expedition because it's just words on a paper, but you do definitely remember that uh, these were a bunch of humans and you felt like while you probably belonged better, they didn't pay you as much or give you the opportunity for adventure. Oh uh, yes, these guys are chintzy. They're, they're what? They, they, they don't give a lot of money for people, you know? Oh, cheap, cheap company? Yeah, cheap sure. Knockoff? Sure, if, if you want to use that inferior terminology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's a, uh, what's a chintzy? <laughs> yeah, right? Fuck. As Grover sort of looks at you and goes, What's your intelligence score? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> what's a Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, so Grover sort of like shakes his head. He's like, hi, they are and for everyone at home, this is Salem the Cat, love of my life. She lives here. She's a member of this campaign because, uh, unfortunately, uh, she loves dice and people. <laughs> and also, fortunately for me, she's a good kid. Um, but anyways, who's going to sit inside of my dice drawer? <laughs> yep, just, 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 that's your spot. Yeah, you got it. Um, yeah, so Grover goes, yes, they are known for not paying well. And that's coming from a dwarf who's... Historically speaking, there's a lot of racism there about us being cheap. Yeah, we don't stereotype in this group. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I feel like they could pay us more, but, you know, I'm not going to... Be chill, man. Yeah. They're also very keen on not doing anything too extravagant mm. for gold. They are very much the safe option. They won't go out and risk their men's lives. So So they're boring. Got it. I'm glad I didn't choose this. <laughs> um, they, yeah, they sound a little... I don't know. They have insurance there? <laughs> what? Do they have health insurance? Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, man. They have health insurance and a benefits program <laughs> and a 401k. <laughs> <laughs> He's just remembering when he signed the contract. He's like, fuck. Your, your benefits <laughs> options were if you survive. <laughs> right. You get you, a little bit of money. You'll get money upon your return mm. to the main continent. Damn. <laughs> but they're not paying you up. Yeah. <laughs> um, except for like expenses while you're here. It makes um, sense. The leader of the expedition is Marshall Advantageous. Hmm. Yes. Marshall. Everyone just calls him Marshall. Yeah, that's all I was about to say. I'm like, oh, he's going by Marshall. <laughs> but uh, the, re the reason why that's important is because the Advantageous family is known for being a family of adventurers. Um, they have scoured most of the Marshall Plains exotic lands, and so they're looking to expand upon their sort of process but it seems that Marshall, unlike his forefathers, is a lot less forth-putting about taking risk. Mm -hmm. He's a very calculated man, mm -hmm. uh, sort of uh, from the description Grover would give you of what he would look like if you run into him. He looks mm -hmm. like he's always in a suit and tie, and he's got round spectacles and like shaved head. Uh, he's always super clean and just looks very much like basically a banker, mm -hmm. what you would just think of as a banker who, yeah. works, who works at like forensics or whatever mm -hmm. like that's that's who you guys would see yeah um interesting you remember uh you would remember his like picture like inside of like the the adventuring catalog for job <laughs> yeah. positions okay makes sense he just has that typical like derpy like he's face. Like, man, yeah uh, ceo of the year <laughs> <laughs> um but anyways so uh, they have brought along competition I listen. We are not going to harm them. But I do not want them to reach any of our goals first, if you understand. And so because of that we have risen the security levels here within the camp. Mm. Um you guys remember that the security levels before were just like the two Relax. guards. Yeah. And then now it's like literally even the gnomes mm -hmm. you guys are like staying in town with, yeah. they're all like holding like spears and stuff. Makes sense. Um, but anyway, so uh, I do have a job for you when you guys are ready, but first things first, payment for your previous job. I was about to say, I was expecting a congratulations or something. Money, 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 money. So upon completion of your second job, supplies, which would be the XP of the 900 that you guys have already <laughs> added onto your guys' things, the two days of R&R, &R, mm -hmm. and 50 gold pieces a piece. Mm. Yeah. Is it 100? I have 115. I have 60. <laughs> what were you doing? 
Oh. Help me, I'm poor. But remember, everything here is paid for. Yeah. Except for weapons and armor. And Stop things. shilling for them, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> you should be with the workers, not the, <laughs> not the fucking proletariat or whatever. Not the bourgeoisie. Listen, I'm all for the people, man. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it, but anyway. Um, continue. <laughs> yeah. But in, your, but in your communist society where they pay for everything. Yeah. <laughs> we all help each other according to their needs, okay? Yeah, in my is, clan. Yeah, this is a commune. Mm -hmm. um, a very violent commune. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he says, uh, when your R&R &R is being completed, come back to me and I'll give you guys your next mission. Mm. As you may imagine, it will revolve moving towards the second continent. Yeah, well, peace out, man. I'm gonna go get some rest. <laughs> and then you see him sort of, like, pacing back and forth somewhere on the, like, stubbled remains of his desk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm dipping. So, uh, heading outside the tent, again, you guys would see a lot of the guards, a lot of the sort of uh, previous tents that you guys have found, um, different shops and things. What would you guys like to do? I want to find uh, Charles. <laughs> Charlie. So, you do notice that uh, as you are walking out, Charlie and his group are walking in. Mm -hmm. oh. They're they're about to receive their payment for the like, mission. Down low and do like a little high five. And he's like... Oh yeah, my, <laughs> my bro! Yeah, <laughs> he slaps your hand. He goes, "Hopefully, we get to go on another mission together, man. I would love." I'm that. praying for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, be careful in there. He's angry. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Broken dust, everything. And then as they walk in, you just hear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie gets thrown out. Yeah. <laughs> Onto a spike. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he forgets you. He's like, no. <laughs> All of your memories are gone. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, yeah, for anyone who doesn't understand that reference, go back to a previous episode to check out why Charlie doesn't remember. Yeah, continuity. Yeah. We have that. We're using a lot of big words today. <laughs> right. I'm an intelligent character. What can I say? <laughs> we all have, like, very continuity. low <laughs> intelligence. Speak for uh, yourself. I'm the smartest in my clan. Yeah. That, that was true. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Um, so as you guys are sort of uh, maneuvering your way through, um, so you guys have just reached out the outside, mm -hmm. the three members walk inside. Um, yeah, your cousin sort of uh, sort of looks at you nefarious and goes, Cousin, uh, it was good working with you. I, I, I was surprised to see how resilient and strong you were. I'm sorry for calling you a little bitch behind your back. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't know that I was, you know, stronger than you and stuff, so... Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I would just say that you're not uh -huh. a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but anyways, and then he looks over at you, Luna, and he goes, Luna, I remember our late night talks. And I just want you to know. And I'm just going to turn around in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing, though. <laughs> He's just, just like confused. You're into him? <laughs> no. So... Uh, for you two, you guys would know, or I don't know if you remember when she. When yeah, I just, know. Yeah. I know. I'm just like, <laughs> Issa doesn't know though. He's yeah. like, what? That's the thing though. Yeah. So, um, yeah. As you guys are walking, you do notice like there's like a little barrier in between your guys' tents and the other tents on the other side of the barrier. Mm -hmm. It's not like a great barrier. It's just a bunch of crates that they stacked up in between it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a peek over. <laughs> So, like, they built it for gnomes and, like, dwarf, uh, like, uh, you know, the dwarf-sized <laughs> people. So as you're, like, peeking over, because you're clearly tall enough to, like, it's easily look over, um, you see on the other side, uh, it seems like a circle of people. Um, and you hear the word, fight, 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 fight. As you hear uh, inside this pit, uh, you see a, like, large like hulking man who's probably like like eight or nine feet tall <laughs> <laughs> and then you see like uh, like he's like clearly like half giant or yeah. not full giant mm -hmm. um and then you see this little girl with a blonde braid and a like sort of a, a a snake tattoo in the side of her head as she screams at him and climbs up his arm it's hanging on and isn't letting go and she's like i won't lose because i won't let go and she's just screaming and biting at his <laughs> forearm and you can see like a different chomp marks he's like let go, let go. <laughs> and hilarious as, as uh i want to crawl over 
your sister Hilarious <laughs> is on the other side of this. I want to crawl over. <laughs> crawl over? I'm going to hop over. Back. Back. <laughs> so as you like lift one leg over the crates <laughs> um, and make your way over to the other side, um, yeah, you see Hilarious is literally like hanging onto this Jesus. massive forearm, just squeezing it with her python tiny arms. And she's like, fight, 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 <laughs> fight, 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 fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then finally she gets thrown off into the, uh, like, towards the direction that you were, into the pile of crates, um, and the fight is over. <laughs> what? Get in there! <laughs> you can't lose! She gets up and screams and goes, I'm not done! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Runs forward and she like grabs the, her massive axe that she has like by her, it's basically the size of her, mm -hmm. um, for continuities of size. Her and the uh, small boy, uh, the wizard, yes. are the same size. Oh, okay. yeah. So literally she's grabbing this axe, it's the, sa the same size axe that you would use. Yeah, and, yeah, and she's yeah. like trying to slash at him when a voice suddenly comes from one of the tents and goes, that's enough child, no more for you. And she like s stops and she goes, what? I'm not done. I said, I'm going to fight. And if I say I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fucking do it. Fight, <laughs> fight, 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 fight. And then he goes, if that is what you wish child, you are no longer served for em employment. Find your own way home. And he just walks off. And she drops her axe and goes, she's like covered in blood, uh, both her own and the others, but mostly her own. Mm -hmm. um, and she looks up and says, Alferis? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm an adventurer. You're 10. Yeah, but see, they changed the rules since you were left. I'm, I'm, they allow 10 year olds to go now. I, I do not think so. <laughs> They definitely, they, they definitely said you are free to leave. It has been, you have to be 16 years old to pass the trial for the past 200 years. I do not think they changed it. Do you sneak out? Do mom and dad know? I, they weren't home when I left. <laughs> <laughs> and I passed the trials. I walked straight through the trials. You're 10. I fought the monsters. I, that's how I get this cool snake tattoo. And she, she points at the side of her head. And there, you see this tattoo that she clearly like scraped into herself. <laughs> oh my god! It looks like probably like a worse than a stick figure that mm. she's. And it, that's oh, mostly where the bleeding's coming from. <laughs> is it's fresh? <laughs> uh, you're such a handful. Oh uh, come on. Where, where am I gonna go? I just got fired. Yeah, we. There's another group of people across the. This is the stuff. She like they'll hire you. <laughs> she like <laughs> grabs her axe and then she goes over to like one of the they have like hanging like rabbits and stuff and she just jumps up, bites it like a dog, and rips down one of the rabbit legs and just walks over towards where you're Jesus. going covered yeah. in blood. As uh yeah, your sister hilarious is now <laughs> going to join your adventuring party. <laughs> Are you coming up to us with her? Yes. Uh, why do you have a kid, man? Uh, this is my sister. Hilarious. How old is she? Ten. I'm sixteen. Yeah. She smiled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Missing her teeth. I'm like, uh. <laughs> she spits another one out. And I'm like, ah, yeah, you should probably send her home, man. How'd she get here? How, how'd you get here? I took a contract. There was a contract in the house. Oh, God. Oh, no. It had my name on it. I just changed the letter. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that, yeah. I have, I have no words. A little, 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 little girl. So, like, you're fine with Charlie, you know, like. Yeah, but Charlie, you know, like, he's cool. This one seems like a ball of energy. I don't like. So, so, so my sister isn't cool. <laughs> huh? My sister isn't cool. That's what really. Look at the look at her. She has a scar on her head. That's dope. <laughs> That's cool. Looks like she did that to herself. That's cool. <laughs> it's a tattoo. Look, it's a snake. Okay, um let, let's saying your snake tattoo isn't cool? I just want to test something. I'm like arm wrestle. <laughs> she she looks at your arm and goes, okay. Yes. 
<laughs> and she, she, she puts out her little stick arm, mm -hmm. and then she pulls out a knife mm -hmm. and goes, <laughs> What the fuck? What's, so what's the knife for? <laughs> I'm gonna win. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I put my hand down here. As you put your hand down, she stabs yeah. you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> See, I won. What? That, that's now not. That is go. not. I was even good. Now you gotta let me go. Yeah, you won. You won. I'm like rubbing my hand. Fuck, oh, dude. Get, get your sister, man. I mean, you didn't specify the rules. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess just, I did. I just, Must be a different type I, from you people. Yeah, huh? <laughs> She's like, See, I won. It's the same way I won the trials. They said, hey, you have to be able to get past me <laughs> in order to get through the trials. Grand. And they were supposed to go to the other side. And what I did was I stabbed him before we got to the other side and walked past him. Dad was mad because he got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> and then mom had to take him to the hospital, so I just left. So that's why they weren't at home. Because <laughs> you stabbed dad. dad. <laughs> wow, what he a says, he, he said, I'm definitely his child. Uh, everyone can't be as smart as me. I, what do you mean? I, I got here earlier than you did. Clearly, I'm more smart. No, you didn't. <laughs> I've been I've been here for, for like two months, or something, or like three weeks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, a week. You, you guys have been here for roughly a month. A month, okay. Yeah. You know, go ahead and pause for a second. So, um, after being stabbed in the hand, um, <gasps> you see a couple people on the other side of the boxes sort of walk towards you. Um, and one of them you recognize mm -hmm. as uh, you see a sort of tall, brooding man who was in fact the half giant. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know him as, uh, sorry, okay. Thorky. Thorky? <laughs> he is a Goliath. Mm -hmm. um, and you had worked with him before and as part of your previous adventures, a part of the Vanguard Mercenary Group. And I turn my head and be like, yeah, we should probably get going and get your sister recruited. Hey, is that you? Issa, it's me, Dorky. I haven't seen you in forever, man. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, we should definitely like just head out and go. And he starts like stomping. He sounds like he knows you. Huh? He sounds like he knows you. I don't, like think, I don't know who that guy is. He's <laughs> <laughs> me. Hey. Oh, as he gets like I didn't even see you, man. I was talking. We're in a conversation. You know how I am about conversations, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you always told me you didn't have time for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, how, you, how you been, though? Oh, I've been great. Been great? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Um, yeah. Uh, what you been? Oh, are you are, are, are you part of this group, too? Or, yeah. I, I, I can't wait to work with you again. That's not going to happen, man. <laughs> but, but, but why? Because we're on different sides of a, uh, you know. Like oh, whoa! Now. And he looks at where the barriers are. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah you crossed the line. I think you gotta go back over there. Oh, silly me! He like takes one step over. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> he just keeps talking. I'm like, yeah, we should probably get going. I don't want to talk to this guy. Have a good one to your friends, Avisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just let's keep going. I'm My sister gonna beat you, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he he fought your sister. Yeah. You she's gonna win. You see bite marks all over. Oh, his face. I'm like, uh. <laughs> she looks like she's like clawed into his face. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I'm just ignoring this guy. Anyway, right uh, so as you guys manage to, uh, so you walk inside. Are you guys gonna go in with him? With who? To to go see uh, Grover. Yeah. We'll do yeah. Sure. Well, I'm gonna go in. Yeah, I've been asking if you oh. guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see just for entertainment. <laughs> 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 so as uh, the three of you. We'll walk inside. Uh, Grover's desk seems to have been replaced in the time you guys left. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's like this one seems a little more sturdy mm -hmm. as one of the Dwarvish engineers seems to have created a new desk that they call the Instructor Desk. So that way he can't destroy it. So he's like pounding on it. He's like, ooh, this is a good desk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you guys were taking an R&R and, R and Who's your little rat friend on the floor covered in rat friend? Grease. Yeah, who's a rat friend? You should tell him about a rat friend. Because she's covered in blood. Like, he can't see her face. You and my sister? Strong resemblance. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has hair. 
New employee. New employee. Uh, I didn't see anything on the roster, but uh, we are hurting on people. Okay, fine, fine. There we go. Really, that easy? Yeah, we stole a person from the opposing company. That's good, right? Oh, see, she, she's from the human camp. Yep. There you go. Oh, even better. There uh -huh. you go. See, I planned this all out. Anyway, <laughs> that's wow. <laughs> You're a mastermind. Uh huh. He's a genius. Again, smartest my clan. Uh, your sister hilarious just laughs. And goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. I'm losing blood, and she passes out on the floor. <laughs> no one's healed her too. Yeah, she'll be fine. She's bleeding. <laughs> she'll be fine. She's just taking a nap. Yeah. Um. Well, can you pick up the little child? And I've, I've I've got more deaths to destroy. Contract. Mm. Slides over a contract to you. She's going to need to sign it. I will read it. Um, reading it, do an intelligence roll for me. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I take that as really. Uh, I want to say a three. <laughs> a three. You see words, 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 maybe payment, maybe stuff. Sign here. How much money? Sibling? Yeah. Um, I give a 25 gold pieces per mission. How much do we get? More than Depends that. on the mission. Yeah. You got 50 in the last mission. 35. 30. Deal. I take her <laughs> hand covered in blood and I sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and he takes the contract back and sort of like flicks the wet blood off of it. He goes... Welcome to the service of the Lucky Ladies Mining Company. Can I pick her up and I leave? Okay. Um, so heading out, uh, heading outside, is there anything else you guys wanted to do? Mm. Find patches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. So uh, that would be on the other side uh, in the caribou camp. You guys would be going back through uh, sort of the barrier. You do notice that uh, as you get up to the gate again, again, there is like a, a pathway being built. Right now it's just a couple blocks of ice sort of separating the two pathways as you see like on your side there's a dwarvish guard and on their side there's a human guard um and they kind of both look at you and go the human one goes they with you and then they, and then the dwarvish one goes yeah all the humans are with or humanoid people are with me yep that mm -hmm. makes sense what about you and then you see like a bunch of dwarves <laughs> coming up for the human side he's like those ones with you yep they like pensions <laughs> <laughs> um Luna, could you not just, like, heal the little girl up? Or no? Uh, can I? I don't She'll think be I fine. Have, I mean, I have good berry, but I don't think I have any kind of... That, I could, think that'd be fine, yeah. You could, you could, but or you could just wait till you get the patches. She'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she's oh. stabilized. Oh, okay, she's, she's stabilized, okay. Cool. She's just... I'm like, she's just bleeding out in her hands. I'm just like, patches. Well, no, no, She'll she, be fine. She's mostly just bleeding from the head wound uh, okay, that okay. she received from sta cutting... The snake tattoo into her. Oh, uh, okay, okay, makes sense. That she so she was already bleeding before the fight started. Mm, a little crazy. Yeah. She, she she cut that in when she got here. God damn. Um, and as you're sort of going through the uh, passageway, uh, through the veil, and on onto the caribou side, you notice that a couple more igloos have sort of started being built. Um, as you see uh, another familiar face, uh, a member of your clan, a sort of older man named Gregorius. Um, he's basically was your guys' medic, uh, for your trip. And he goes, <sighs> hilarious, his head wound bleeding again. Hi. Yeah. How far is? <laughs> uh, he, he, this one also shaved head, no eyebrows, but he does have a beard. <laughs> um, as he seems like he stays mostly behind mm -hmm. enemy lines, doesn't have to worry about them pulling on his facial hair. Um, and he just looks at you and goes, see all right let me get my kit and he sort of hand he, he's like well wait yeah is she still work for us i thought i heard a commotion saying that she didn't work for us anymore. work for who uh i work for you know the humans the ctc yeah it doesn't matter anyway you know same clan there you go 
Hey, Ride Clan first. <laughs> <laughs> he starts. He, he casts heal wounds on her, mm-hmm. um, and she seems to be healing up, except for the head wound still slightly bleeding. Yeah. Um, but like all the damage she would have taken from the fall and the fight are all gone. I let her down. She uh, stumbles to her feet, pushes herself off of her axe, and goes, "All right, well." <clears throat> I'm going fishing. <laughs> she, and she just walks off, and she's like, no no jacket or anything. But just completely sleeveless, walking towards what she sees, like a giant like hole in the wall, uh, in the ground that looks like it's probably where fish would be. Oh, okay. Um, and you see uh, the caribou people. You see uh, uh, one of the uh, guys, like the leader or whatever. He's just like, oh, hey there. Uh, Oh, little 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 girl, uh, you probably shouldn't. And she just jumps straight into the <laughs> hole in the, in, the, in the ice, and he's like, "Oh, um, a little little help with the little girl. She just went into the swimming hole. She's probably got like a minute or so before she probably dies from hyperthermia." I think she's fine. I think she's a minute, right? Yeah. So like 30 seconds later, she comes up with a giant fish mm-hmm. in her mouth, and she's like chattering, <laughs> pulls herself up <laughs> off the water. She's just like. <sighs> And she's like chewing into, oh, this, <laughs> into this raw fish until it dies, and she just sort of like slides against the ice mm. until she like pulls herself into your guys' igloo. Mm. Say she's fine. She's sleeping in our. In our... I yes. Y- mm. You you guys are uh, you Southerners are uh, real real interesting folk. You know, um, I got a story about this uh, sort of person who decided to go swimming in the ice, but maybe another time. You seem a little busy. You gotta, yeah. You guys had a long trip, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, anyway, who uh, Patches did say that he was going to be out for a little bit. He's collecting a little bit of firewood before you guys get back. Maybe make you guys some dinner. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll let I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a nice time. Which one's this? Uh, this is uh, the leader of it. This is Lichen. Oh, okay. Yeah, have a nice night, Lynchin. Yeah, Lynchin. you you too, yeah. bud. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm gonna have a good night. And you see him just like chewing <laughs> on some grass. <laughs> yeah, he's like. And then you see him, he's like, oh, got a big one. And he, like, pulls up. And then you see that it's hilarious hanging mm. on the... Oh, no. <laughs> with another fish. Yeah. And she's just like... I don't want any of your help. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> leave. I, I'm leaving this interaction going to sleep. <laughs> As you thought, she slid into the, the tent. But it seems like she just slid, sl- mm-hmm. slid her, slided her way back into the water. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I wish you weren't having enough fish tonight. No. All right. Go to bed. (laughs) So anyways, uh, yeah, so she heads off into her her room. Uh, You do notice, uh, like, again, on the caribou side, it seems that they're starting to build a second sort of corridor area uh, blocked off by a giant ice wall. Mm -hmm. Um, And that is where the other party members would be sleeping. Um, So as you guys manage to go to sleep, I need each of you guys to roll a d20 for me. Four. A one. Eighteen. And that one. Four. So um one hour later, you wake up <laughs> feeling rested. Oh, that was a great <laughs> that was a great <laughs> long rest. <laughs> and what do I what do I see around me? So uh seeing around you, you do notice that hilarious is like slightly cold and she's like shivering because she's gone in the water twice um but patches seems to have like you see like patches like looks at you and goes oh hey there um um, anyways i I notice your little the little one over here it's a little cold so i just gonna go ahead and whoop and he and then all of a sudden you see like the hyperthermia goes away and he's like here's a little blanket and uh you just keep warm by the fire little one yep 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 i got you another fish that since you decided to go swim in today i don't it's probably not that right time of year, but you know what? You got this. You got it, bud. Thanks. Um, what, you, you know, it's only it only took like a light nap. You sure you, you sure you don't want to go back to sleep? Apparently, I feel perfectly well rested. <laughs> yeah, the, this place will do that to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's so like again, com- it looks completely normal outside, like the same temperature, everything. I'm gonna go hunting. Okay. So as you uh, decide to go hunting, you get up, and then as soon as you say hunting, 
your sister grabs his axe and starts dragging it on the ground behind you. <laughs> so all you do is as you walk outside, you're like completely stealthy. You just hear <laughs> and you just see her going, where are we going? I was going hunting. She like picks up the axe like as hard as she can. She like throws it up and as she does it like slams to the other side and it gets stuck in the ice and she's just like, me too. All right. And then you see uh, nefari- uh, Nefarious off in the distance. He goes, is that hilarious? What is she doing here? <laughs> yep. Yep. She snuck out. <laughs> she snuck out all the way fucking you know, miles away. You know, if you had better parents and a better life. Excuse me. <laughs> You could have lived this life and been able to leave at 16 versus, what is it, 10? So, uh, remind me about how great your parents are. You know, the ones that are dead, (laughs) and then mine that are alive, (laughs) and that have slain a lot of monsters, and yours are dead and not have slain a lot of monsters, okay? Which ones are better? Clearly the dead ones, because they were so brave they died in battle. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. (laughs) You're only alive if you... Are, and he just walks inside. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bitch. It's all to my family. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so as uh, you sort of head off uh, to go camping, um, four hours later, uh, you would wake up. Mm-hmm. Um, you wake up, Patches is just sitting there. He's like, oh, hey, you have a nice little nap there, did you? Yeah, it was a great nap. Thank you, Patches. Yeah. I don't know if you contributed to the nap, but thank you, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, I definitely contributed. <laughs> he crawled right in there with you. <laughs> you warmed you up. Uh, you notice that your pillow pillow's a little more fluff. Than yeah. <laughs> your blanket's a little, so they, a, a little bigger. The, yeah, the cold side, yeah. You notice that he like he definitely put some coals underneath your bed mm-hmm. to keep you warm. He's like, oh, I, I definitely contributed. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, did you want to do anything fun or while you're just hanging out? Or Oh, you want to go do something fun? What do you want to do? I mean, they have drinks here, right? Like, what kind of drinks are you talking about? I'm like- trying to get fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, I-, I pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go get fucked up. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, well, oh, whoa. Geez. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So if we go back to the Dwarvish side, they get a bunch of Dwarvish ale. We can get real have a go. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you like, <laughs> start running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just start running with them, yeah. Um, and then last to wake up, you had nine hours, right? I had 18. 18 hours. What? So... <laughs> Day one, day one, out. completely yeah. goes away. Um, <laughs> you have no rest at all because you're sleeping the whole time. Okay, Ashley, high or low? Um, high. You get woken up in the middle of the night to a sharp finger poking you in the face. <laughs> and the slight chirping noise of a hungry bird. Mm-hmm. Wanting its breakfast. Chirp, 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 chirp. Man, man. Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's been it's been nine hours. I'm starving. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. I guess I'll get up and what do those even eat? So they can eat like mice or like other like small rodents or animals. Flesh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or fish. Fish is another option. Fish, yeah. Are there any of those things in the igloo? Do a investigation check for me. With advantage, because you're in the igloo and you know the space. Eleven. Ten. So you would know that because Patch takes care of all you while you're sleeping, Mm -hmm. Patch left out snacks for both of you, you and the bird, Mm -hmm. but you know that that was supposed to be like one day's worth of rations. Your bird ate through them already because it's been 16 hours. (laughs) And in that time... These two are going to be gone. I'm going to tell you what happens to you in the 16 hours. Okay. I'll tell you what happens to you in the 16 hours in a minute. Um, so it's been 16 hours. So it still needs food. Chirp, 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 chirp. So can I like go hunt for the food that it needs? You also know that there's like there more? There, there's there's a food area you can go get food from. So oh, you, okay, I'm gonna go. So you can go get there. rations from like a. Uh, blueberry from like mushroom or you can go to the dwarver side and get like actual like hot food from okay. the little halfling who like serves you guys food we'll do that so you're going to the halfling or are you going to go to the mushroom halfling so as you start making your way towards uh the sort of gate again 
Uh, you see signs that your friends have been here, but they've been busy. Um, as uh, the first thing you would notice is that there's empty giant barrels of ale. <laughs> oh, no. Sort of slid across the ice as it looks like Lichen and uh, Issa and Patches mm -hmm. got super <laughs> fucked up together. But only Issa and Patches look fucked up. Mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm like doing the drunk <laughs> <laughs> as you wake up so you're actually training out inside of the field mm -hmm. you do your training where you did first met Charlie yeah. you're out there doing drunken <laughs> fists <laughs> and Charlie walks up and he's like oh hey there hey I, I, I was good to see you it looks like you're already training I heard this is where you go in the morning uh, what, are you, what are you doing over here you piece of shit <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I knew you would betray me, just like everyone. You come out here to kill me, didn't you? I would never kill one of my closest friends. I have no friends. As... I'm gonna make an attack roll of Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> As you say that, Charlie just looks petrified. <laughs> okay, uh, that's probably not gonna hit. Let's see, do. He's a 10-year-old wizard. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I don't think an 11's gonna hit him. Uh, that is a 10. That will hit him. Okay. Uh, as I do this, though, uh, Charlie, how far away is he? He is right next to you because he, he, he got really close. I'm going to say, like, as he got close, I scooted back, I'll say 15 feet. And, like, wind starts to form around my, my hands. And I'm like, striking out with my, like, wind shit. And as you do, you push a gust of wind at Charlie. Charlie gets lifted off the air, mm -hmm. gets thrown into the water <laughs> that he first fell into when you mm -hmm. first met him, and he is gargling the water. <laughs> and his hand goes limp, and then all of a sudden- He dies immediately. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a minute later, and then all of a sudden his body stands back up. What happened? And then he goes, who are you? And then he walks back up towards you, and this is going to continue <laughs> for this next 13 hours. Okay. Of me just killing Charlie? <laughs> I would not just keep killing. I'd be like, you... You think it's different people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see the... How about this? I see the elements. So when he first came up, I see, like, the wind element is like... Yo, dude, like, take a chill pill and just go with the wind. And then that's why I attack him. And I'm kind of, like, talking to him through these different elements, I think. Yeah, so however you want to interact, yeah. you and Charlie are going to go through 13 hours of that. Yeah. Um, on the other side of this, uh, we have uh, Alpharius and Hilarious. You guys decide to go hunting, um, and you know that your favorite place to go hunting is the Howling Mountains as you have always wanted to go and you have not had anyone who allowed you to go. And so you go running headfirst into the Howling Mountains. You're climbing up a mountain looking for snacks. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> is right behind you, her ax in her mouth as she's like, <sighs> but it's like a hand ax because the other one fell like <laughs> like a, 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 lot, a few feet up down. Um, as she was climbing up the hill and she just grabs like one of your axes off your, your waist, puts the hand axe in her mouth and just starts climbing <laughs> as you are face to face with a Yeti. Finally, I gotta kill one of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he sort of beats on his chest and he goes, Rawr! I beat on my chest when I go, <laughs> hilarious goes, <laughs> 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 and she charges him. <laughs> I charge it too. Um, and as you guys are like, I'm not gonna say you kill it. I'm gonna say you beat the fuck out of it with your bare hands because you had to leave your axe down there. <laughs> and the only axe you would have was your hand axe. As you're beating up this yeti, this is like a young yeti, not like a fully grown one. You just like beat, this is probably the child of the one that you murdered. Yeah. Like, you're like beating it up. <laughs> um, and um, I'll say you still have some of the claws that you used earlier to kill its mom. And you like are using that to like stab into its face <laughs> as, as it like whimpers off. Um, and uh, you do see a fresh kill that it had of a uh, deer, and you're able to take the deer back down the mountain with you. That was anticlimactic. 
The bitch ran away. <laughs> chase it down. Uh, I feel like it ran away. Can I chase it down? You can't. <laughs> I'll chase it down. So, it's like, uh, as you chase it... I'm not letting one of you go away again. But if you uh, chase it down and you leave the deer carcass behind, and then you won't have your hunt. Eh. It's up to you. Eh. I'm killing it. So you chase this motherfucker down, <laughs> and you finish it in front of the wolf that left its friend before. <laughs> and you see that one wolf just look and go, mm. and he like, <laughs> watches you savagely beat the shit out of this. Uh, yeah, and uh, after you get back, uh, you are covered in blood, and you've taken over half damage. I want to take, like, a trophy. What do you want to take? Do they have, like, claws or something like yeah, that? Yeah, he has claws and stuff, too. Okay. I'll take, like, claws and stuff. Yeah, as you take claws, uh, you see Hilarious rips out one of the teeth. And she's, like... And she, like, fastens it to a little stick, and she's going to use it as a knife. <laughs> Sick. She, like, slides it inside of her, uh, like, sort of, like, waistband, and she's just, like... All right, that works. And uh, that was how you spent your 16 hours. Uh, so uh, now fast forward 16 hours to the current moment where you are currently walking across uh, the uh, sort of veil again. Um, this time, 16 hours have changed. So uh, it actually seems like hard structures have been put in place since this other camp is set up. There's a physical wall now that you can't see over. And it sort of mimics a going from ice to sort of stone as you go through the veil. Um, that's probably anywhere between like 20 and 30 feet high as the builders seem to have worked really hard to be able to get this job done quickly. Um, on this side of the uh, sort of camp, you instantly smell food. And uh, you sort of reach the uh, sort of giant halfling or the giant stomached halfling who's just been like, oh hey, you come to get some taters, have you? Taters and meat. Oh. Here you go. And he slaps on a, a big serving. He's like, uh, so where is your friend currently? The private just like in a bag in front of me. This kid's sticking out. Yeah. So as he goes, he goes, oh, who's your little friend there? His name's Soul. Soul. Wow. That's that's pretty interesting. Uh, what kind of bird is he? Is he like a cockatoo or something? <laughs> yeah, we'll say a cockatoo. Oh, that's a... That's He's a very, very young cockatoo, so he doesn't have his little flooper yet. Well, I'm looking forward to the day that he gets to floop. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, here, and he's sort of, he's like, I found a bunch of these uh, rats, and he pulls out a little a little container of rats. They have, like, have caught in all the rats that were trying to get into the kitchen. And he sort of just hands you the container and goes, that should be, like, 15 days worth of rations for that little guy. Oh, thank you. If you need more, just come back, serve you up some fresh rats. Mm. Awesome. Um, and as you're sort of navigating through, um, you see a familiar face sitting at the table as a sort of young girl, uh, like smaller, uh, humanoid but with like pointed ears, sort of sitting there with like dark skin, black hair, is just sort of slumped over a giant pile of meat as she's like sort of digging in with her hands and she sort of looks up at you and goes, Luna? So her name is Veraska. Uh, she would have been one of your childhood friends as you were growing up in the village um, that you had met uh, who was just sort of passing through. Uh, she would have been older than you. Okay. She's just like... <laughs> All grown up, have we? A little bit, yeah. Interesting. I haven't seen you in such a long time. It's, it's good to see a familiar face. Especially in these parts of the world. What are you doing here? Hmm. Well, let's just say I'm hunting something. What are you hunting? Um. A cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I'm hunting. There says to be a monster that looks here. I've heard about it through the rumors. It has a skeleton face, mm. and large antlers, mm. and I plan to murder it, as monster hunters would do. 
it's, we've seen it. It's very scary. You've seen it? Yep. Zombie snowman and all. Zombie snowman? Yep. What the fuck's a zombie snowman? Uh, it makes zombie snowman. Shit. She like pulls out <laughs> pulls out her like notebook and goes, Zombie snowman, question mark. <laughs> Where did you see it? Um... Across from like the old dwarven settlement, like the defunct one. Yeah. Where? No, northeast. You saw it on the other west. One. Oh, that's oh, okay. You, it's... Saw, you saw it on the next island. Yeah, next island over. If you're making any travels that way, I would love to join you. <laughs> okay. I am very interested in hunting this thing and murdering it. <laughs> All right. Um, and as uh, you sort of sit down and sort of catch up, as it were, um, that ends the, t- the first day. Um, going into your guys' the second day, uh, I would say that both of you guys are sleeping hard. Yeah. Um, you don't remember what happened, mm-hmm. but what uh, what other events happened with Charlie? Oh, I assume, like, after a while, Charlie kind of caught on and <laughs> like, he was dodging and everything. And then I, like, kind of sobered up. And I'm like... I'm so sorry, and kind of just hugged him and everything, and then that's so, probably about it, though. By the end of your adventure, mm-hmm. Charlie had died 15 times, mm-hmm. but after the 15th death, Charlie seemed to have gotten stronger mm. as he began to instinctively dodge your moves, yeah. and he looks like he's a stronger wizard now because of it, mm. as the training really helped him. Yeah, I don't remember any of the training. I just remember, like, I was drunk and I punched him and I, like, sobered up and I was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, he actually catches your hand <laughs> yeah. with his mage hand. Mm-hmm. He's like, K-k-k-k. yeah. And he's just like, like, with his with his staff out, he's just like, ugh. <laughs> and you see he's a little older now. Like, he doesn't, mm-hmm. he looks like he's probably, like, 12 to 13 years old now. Yeah. And you see his hair is a little more scruffy. And he's just like, like, he's a little taller. <laughs> he's, he's, like, looking you eye to eye. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's like, Master, I have learned much from you in this time. Thank you for all of your help. That's when I like sober. I'm like, what? Uh, oh, who are, uh, who are you? I'm Charlie the Small. Why do you sound different? <laughs> you sound deeper. I'm Charlie the Small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, you look different. What happened? Puberty. I just have a headache. Ugh. He says puberty. Hmm. You beating the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I... I, I need to sleep. I it's lots going on in my head, Charlie. Yes, Master. Get sleep. I'll, I will. Stop calling me Master. <laughs> As you say, Master. <laughs> <laughs> he just, like walks past him and goes to sleep. And Charlie just sits there and continues to meditate. He's <laughs> now like a monk, <laughs> fucking wizard. <laughs> uh, <Multi-class>. Yeah. <laughs> um. As, uh, yeah, so that'll end that. Uh, you managed to finally make your way back, Alpharius, to the uh, uh, tent, uh, or the, the Bilu, and as you do, you feel exhausted. But for whatever reason, you don't know why. You, you, as far as you know, you got a full night's rest. <laughs> what? I slept for a whole hour. What, what, what is this? <laughs> um, Patch sees you covered in blood and uh, wounds, and he sort of, he's like, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tap you on the forehead there, boop, and he taps the other one on the forehead, boop. See, uh, what you do is, if you get real drunk, you just got to go ahead and tap yourself on the forehead and cast a healing spell, and you're no longer drunk. I wasn't drunk. Got it. That was not, and he, he, you see he's still pretty drunk. <laughs> he's like, that wasn't alcohol you were covered in? That was blood. <laughs> that is my father calling me. <laughs> father, why did my sister stab me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> why did she stab you? <laughs> Have you been talking to your sister hilarious? She stabbed the shit out of me. <laughs> Bring her back. Um, but yeah, so you, going to sleep, I, uh, we'll have both of you guys roll again. Mm-hmm. Goodness, Dad. Seven. Two. <laughs> He's just not sleeping. <laughs> Hilarious is out. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, as uh, you managed to get food, was there anything else you were looking to do, Luna, while they're sleeping? 
Um, is there like like a general store or something that might have more bags? Yeah, yeah, like you can go to the general store. Fur line bag for soul. Yeah, so you easily go into the general store. It's the same general store you've sort of going in, gone into before. Um, and this is going to be on the gnomish side. Um, and she's just like, oh, hey there. How may I help you? It's the gnomish collections. Oh. Okay. Uh, with Claudia and her daughter. Gnomish collections. Okay. Um, what can I do for you, honey? I need a fur lined bag that will fit this. I just put the birdie on the counter. Oh, that's a custom job. Yeah, yeah, we can do that here. Um, and she's like, go get the needles. As uh, her, like, you see a bunch of little kids running with needles. And they, like, slowly start making the bag really quick. And they're like, all right, well, here you go. Oh, cool, sweet. Anything else you need? Uh... Look like you need a new pair of boots there. Get them to boots. And she, like, runs back. <laughs> boots. Awesome. How much does all that cost? It's free, darling. Oh, okay. Everything free. That's right. Everything. Everything. Except for weapons. This person, this yeah, is free. Except for weapons, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay. And uh, would you like to go back and chill or do anything else while you're here? Is there, like, training stuff we can do, or is that... Trading? Training? Training. Training. Yeah, so remember, you still can use your R&R day to train. Okay. Can I, like, train with the animal changing stuff to get... You can, yeah. Okay. Like, with the flying, because I want to be able to do the... So there's, like, a couple birds I think I can do. Okay. So you... Where would you like to train? On this side or the other side? Let's do the other side. So as you get to the other side, um, and you start beginning to uh, focus, where are you going to put soul? Mm, let's put it back in... The, is Patches in the igloo? Yeah. He's in Beelow. He's still hungover, but he... <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll give it to Patches. Patches holds on to soul and goes, oh, hey... Here's little snacks. The little rats from the cage. <laughs> um, as both of you guys are still sleeping, um, as, you, as you sort of start thinking consciously about shifting into this bird and flapping your wings, uh, whoosh, whoosh, you take off. Uh, what type of bird would you like to change into? Um, I think I can do an owl. What's a blood hawk? I don't know. It's probably a hawk. Some, probably some normal hawk or some, some type of hawk. <laughs> yeah. Some type of hawk with stats. Uh, let me just do a raven. Yeah, so as you shift into a raven um, and you start to fly up, uh, you're able to see onto the other side of the uh, camp as you start flying. <laughs> Using your bird vision, um, you see a familiar face that you did not wish to see face that brought you pain and sorrow as they are one of the people who managed to at least the people of their race burning down your village where you once lived Hmm. as you see a yoltai a snake person with a bow pointed upwards towards you seeing you as a fresh kill releases their arrow. I need you to do a dexterity save for me. Oh, Jesus. Your wakes. Good thing, uh, it's just the bird. Oh, God. No oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falling. <laughs> just dies. Right to the skull. That'd be insane. A little way to end the game. Uh, six. <laughs> six? As, uh, it hits one of your wings. Yeah. And as it does, uh, you instantly feel your body shifting back to its normal form and you begin to fall 30 foot descent downward how many wild shapes do you have i think i can do two mm-hmm. okay so good training though <laughs> so, <laughs> so i can change it to something else uh, you can before i hit the ground yeah uh, You're currently falling. They say cats don't take fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, so Wait, is it really? Yeah. Is that a thing? I think so. If you want it to be I mean, I don't know if your character would be like cats, they don't take fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> Splat. <laughs> it's 30 feet. So. Yeah. 
Um, uh, it's 1d6 for every 10. Yeah, so uh, 3d6. Yeah, yeah, you can transform into a squirrel. I'm just going to turn Flying back squirrel. into like a hawk instead, I guess. As you are descending down, you fall from the 50-foot mark to the 30-foot mark to the 20-foot mark. Shifting a second time into the hawk, you manage to just barely keep yourself off the snow. And then suddenly shift back to your physical form, rejecting the second transformation and rolling onto the ground Mm. uh, with the arrow now locked into your shirt, but not your body. As the uh, sort of Yoltai slithers up onto the ice and goes, I'm sorry that you are a person. I thought you were a snack. <laughs> I'm just going to flip him off and walk away. Because <laughs> he's still just going over the thing, isn't he? Yeah. So uh, she is going over the thing. Oh, she. Um, and her name is Poacher. Mm. <laughs> that is on the nose, huh? <laughs> Poacher. Okay. She, she's a Yoltai Ranger. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, as each of you guys manage to uh, sort of maneuver through, um, four hours go by. Two. Or two hours go by. So that, was, that only took like an hour or two. Uh, we'll say it took two hours. Uh, you wake up feeling fully rested. <laughs> I want to go hunting. <laughs> um, as you get up, you do feel nauseous. Um, and <gasps> you're going to be on like level three <laughs> exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> I go hunting. Where do you want to go this time? I mean, you're saying I'm feeling well rested, yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, down I'm gonna go out then. You just die. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Go hunt a bear. Do a perception check. I will say that uh, this is also that's with disadvantage, right? Yeah, he has a disadvantage. So. Um, also to clarify, uh, the skills you guys used in your first R and R remember takes three in R and R days mm-hmm. in order for you to develop the skills. Yeah, I will say that because of how you spent your first day, mm-hmm. you spent another day training, you'll be able to work on the skills that you described. Mm-hmm. His is perception. You're perceiving to look for monsters the first day. You're perceiving to look for monsters the second day, and the hockey game in the third day perception would go up. And yours was in nature. So if you're spending time thinking about nature and animals by transforming into local animals, mm-hmm. we'll say that that was how you developed those skills. Yeah. 12. 12. Um, you think you see a bear in the horizon. Um, it looks like a very similar polar bear to one, one of the ones you saw before. I can take it. Run towards the polar bear. No, I rage. Raging at the polar bear, uh, you manage to go into a fury of combat. I need you to go ahead and do a roll off for me. Yikes. I'm gonna have each of you. Uh, so his roll off will happen now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm assuming when you wake up, you're going to do your training. Mm-hmm. Either do training or I'll have to think about it while he's doing this. Okay. So go ahead and do your roll off for me, Troy. Uh, so that'll be uh, the five rolls. Do we add anything or anything like that? You'll add your, uh, for this, well, say your perception, because that's the skill you're looking to develop. To fight the bear? Yes. You're perceiving its weaknesses. Okay. Because that was a skill you wanted to develop, so. That's what the R&R days are for, it's to help develop yeah, your skills. Yeah, let's go. Dude, what? Those have all been hella low. Yeah, that dice is cursed. <laughs> oh, that was our five. Um, 46? 46. Okay. I'll say 46. <laughs> 65. If I can okay. kill there. So, um, you are unable to observe its weaknesses, but I will say that um, you aren't... You, you take damage. We'll say you take 10 points of damage, um, but making your way back, you do perceive another bear 
in the distance. <laughs> Would you like to fight this one? No, I'll fight that bear. <laughs> Go again. Did you lose the first fight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's... Make it easy for me to... Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> Yeah, the first one I got like 20s and 15s. Mm -hmm. He's getting high now. Might kill this bear. Maybe not. 71. I got a 43. Okay. You you definitely won this time. As uh, you manage to slice off the bear's head, um, you feel a deep connection with this bear as it dies. Something primal seems to sort of form within you as uh, you feel this you feel this deep connection as the spirit of the bear leaves its body and it sort of presses itself against you and slowly absorbs into your body I roar and as you roar, um, a massive bear roar seems to form, and a new tattoo forms on your body. Of the, oh my god. Of the bear you just murdered. Oh Sorry. my god. <laughs> as it feels deep in connection to your spirit and your totem. I cut off its. I want to skin it. At least, like, portion of it. Yeah, you skin it. What do you want to make? I want to make like a, like a cloak thing or like a, <laughs> for hilarious. For, for hilarious? Yeah, for hilarious. Or for yourself? No, for hilarious. Not for me. Respects the bear, makes a thing for his <laughs> fucking yeah. sister. <laughs> no, like, I, like I'll make like a tooth or whatever, like the biggest like claw I can find kind mm. of thing. I'll make like a pendant thing for me, but I want to make like a, like a sweater or something for her. Yes. Like, I, like I'm the th thing in like Dark Souls too, like that like fur, <laughs> yeah. like kind of thing, yeah, like that yeah, kind of yeah. like, I don't know. So, uh. You know, while well, you might not have the skills to do that, you do know that on the other side you can go in and uh, yeah. have the alterations basically do it for you. So um, they'll do. They basically make her a uh, like a fur, a, a fur like jacket. Yeah, it's like a thing, whatever it is. Basically, just like a a, a, a fur like vest, hmm. and then they just put fur on the edge of her uh, her boots. Boots and with like, the fur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boots with the fur, yeah. and like uh, they gave her bracers basically to keep her That's arms right. warm. Um, All right. As uh, your you have completed your portion, um, so moving back to you, um, what else would you like to do? Since Shazan's going to be sleeping for a little, a few more minutes. Yeah, I'm like seven hours in. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I do training with Soul? Yeah. Like, is it old enough to? So, like, if you, what stage are we at with the? So I will say that it's big enough to where it could potentially move. It can move on its own, but it can't fly yet. Okay. So, like most baby chicks, like mm -hmm. think of it like a baby duck. Okay. Um, what type of training? So this would be for animal handling. Remember, it'd take three days of animal handling for you to be like to get the advantage with animal handling. Mm. I don't know. I guess like <laughs> you do drills with it whenever going to combat knows to go hide. To hide. Yeah. Okay. So as your. <laughs> Uh, I'll say that you grabbed a whistle from the general store, and you're okay. holding up the whistle, and you're whistling commands. Uh, so, like, one whistle means come, two whistle means, like, go, three whistles means hide, and you're, like, maneuvering with it. I'm going to need you to do a roll-off mm -hmm. um, with your, with for soul. Okay. And I'll say during this time frame, uh, you'll wake up. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do with your second day? Um... I guess I'm gonna take. Uh, I would assume as I was drunk, I told Patches a little bit about my like uh, backstory a little bit. So I'm grabbing him and I'm grabbing uh, Charlie and I'm going to the waterfall. Patches goes, uh, you know, my, my brain's a little fuzzy. You want to remind me uh, what, what you were saying yesterday about your? You're you're gonna hear it all again. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's go and do a roll off. Do I add anything to it at all? or uh, Whatever skill you're looking to develop. So before you're working on nature, are you looking to do nature again? You only spent two days on nature before. Oh, no, you got one day of R&R &R before. Now you have two, so it'd be one skill would get the uh, thing if you continue to develop it. Okay, 
Well, my animal handling is already at a plus five. Yeah, I would say that you could do um, the nature. Nature, nature would work. That's okay. fine. Nature's so, a plus three. All right, so ready? So you're going to add your modifiers to it? Okay. Doing a rerun on my first roll off. Apparently. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Jesus. This bird eats her. Okay. No. Damn. No. That, so it was like 20. Four. Nah. Yeah. 48. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. 48? I got a 38. Damn. So. You roll like ass. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd roll that. I'll, I'll be the first one. I was like 20, mm -hmm. 19, 15. I was like, oh my God. Okay. All right, so um, as uh, you sort of manage to easily, like you maneuver through, it's a little difficult at first, but you you think you have the the understanding, especially after turning into a bird, how to understand how a bird thinks and how to better understand that relationship with soul. Cool. Um, as you have developed your skills. Um, flashing towards uh, the river and the, mm -hmm. the running water. Um, yeah, you see that... Uh, Char Charlie's just sitting there meditating mm -hmm. on his rock. He's currently lifting himself off the ground. Yeah. As he's like basically like holding himself up with like a, essentially like his own telekinetic power. Uh, as I go there, I grab a rock. Uh, I'm also going to grab like kind of stuff to start a fire. And then uh, I think that's it actually. Those are the only things I'm grabbing. Okay. As I uh, kind of get there, I see him. I'm like, uh, Charlie, I need your help today. What do you need help with? Uh, so first, we're gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to hold. So Patches, you're gonna have to put your hand over my mouth, and I want Charlie to just suffocate me. Like I want to try to like literally. And I'm gonna try to fight back against him, but like not really though. I'm trying to like resist from fighting back. Yeah, as he basically gives you the whole uh, drowning yourself experience. No, I don't want him to drown me. I need a chokehold for this one. Oh, yeah. So he's <laughs> Choke you out, I guess. Yeah, so um, as I'm kind of like getting choked out, losing air, um, I see the uh, air, like just, I look up as I like literally can't breathe. I see the air moving. Um, and that's when I see kind of the uh, the master of air as he looks kind of, uh, has like cloud hair, blue skin, kind of like Gion as he's like doing different moves. Um, and I literally can't breathe, but like at a certain point I kind of tap Charlie and I can breathe. So I see the move that he did. Um, and then after that, I have them bury me and I see, uh, like I literally can't breathe in everything <laughs> same way. I'm like at a near death uh, state, uh, as a, a rock elemental man, he's literally like made of rock, um, kind of rock beard. So he's can't. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. He looks like the thing. Yeah. He's a thing, but he's got swag. Yeah. This one, he doesn't really do any moves as he looks at me disapprovingly and he only kind of shows me just a little like kind of jab and I don't get much more from him. Then I go in the water. They hold me underwater so I'm at the brink of death. Same thing. Uh, I see like this watery figure as she's kind of doing different moves, um, almost like a ballerina. Um, and then after that, they put they set me on fire. And uh, same thing. I see like this almost um, man. He kind of has like an emperor kind of style, like of uh, an avatar was a Lord uh, Ozai, I think. Kind of like that, but he's like made of fire as he's like doing different moves. And I see mainly most of the stuff he does as it looks like he's like just bringing all this destruction and shit. And then that's the last one I do. And as uh, your final form seems to go and you feel confident in your abilities and your four masters of the elements, mm -hmm. you feel stronger. And as you drift off to sleep that night with the rest of your friends, each of you feels stronger as you have officially reached level three. And that is where we're going to hit tonight's episode of Dice Age. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week.